Hi everyone, it's Roseanne from Roseanne's Crafting Corner. Today I've got a Timu haul and it's three, three different packages. I tried to do the smaller two packages yesterday, but I ran out of space on my phone, so I had to delete it, get rid of some of the junk on my phone and start again, as you do. Right, so I'll make a start on the modes that I've got and then I'll go on to the rest. The first mold I've got, and I'm not going to take everything out of the packages because I don't want to make too much rustling because it can be rather annoying. So it's a mold of a little heart and it's got a lid. So it'll be a nice little trinket dish. And that was 179. Very good. I hope you're all having a good day. And if you're crafting or whatever you're doing, I hope you're having fun. Right, I'll just reach what I can for my mold and get through them first. I've actually doubled up on uh, one item and I think I've already bought them before as you do. I mean sometimes you have them in your wish list and you put them into your basket and uh, they don't get deleted from your wish list so if you forget, and sometimes you put stuff in your basket, sometimes that'll go across again and hey presto, you've got another one. Right. And this is the one I've doubled up on. The little tray mold. And I've been hunting for a big one. I want a big one about that big. I don't want these skimpy little ones. Oh, they're all right for little dressing table uh, things for putting your rings and now all that on, but they're not much good for anything else. So that one, and that one, so snap both of them. And they were oval moulds, 127 each. I mean, they will get used. And if one starts to deteriorate, I've got spares. Right, the bigger one, and I'm a little bit more pleased with this one, is this tray mold. And I'm hoping to put a tiger or something on there. Which a few people have done different designs on there. And you get the tattoos all the time, so it'll be going on there. And this one was four forty nine. Right. I've got two moulds. I mean, the the both clusters uh, sea life moulds. Marine life moulds. Uh, 197 each or 398 for the two it's actually cheap to buy, cheaper to buy them separately but anyway so this one has got the jellyfish the stingray the seahorse Starfish, angelfish, dolphin, turtle, and octopus. And the next one has penguin, Pomeranian dog, a newt, doll lizard, a squirrel, a frog. A snail and two birds 
possibly a seagull that one and like I say they were 3.98 for the two right and the next one is a pendant mold and this was 168 and it's just the the different shapes you can't really see on that side because it's got the label but you can see a few of them so 168 My next one is an earring mould and if I can find it, earring mould 134 and it's all the fancy shapes with the open centre but I could always stick something in there too and it's got the uh, the earring hooks as well to go with it as well as the little rings to connect them both together and this is another one slightly different shapes very nice and that was 134.2 now the next one I've got is a mould for the little um, balloon dogs. It's only a tiny one, but I hope to attach that as a, a little pendant or keychain. And that one is 198. We've got quite a nice day here today. The sun's shining. And there's not too many clouds in the sky, so it makes a change from the rain we've been getting. Right, now these ones three dimensional earrings. And there was two different. Oh. No, the, I've doubled up on these as well. <laughs> right, so that's three-dimensional uh, mould for earrings. Now, where's that one? Have I put it on another list? I have another list somewhere. Excuse the rattling of the paper. I put them down on here. Hmm. No. No, I didn't put them down on there either. So, if I can, I'll put the price at the end, if I can uh, find them, if they're still uh, still on sale. So, I'll let you know how much they were. Right, I've got a few little items. This I've doubled up on too. And it's a little case with... little ear cleaners 
in it. I don't know why I've been sent the two. Again, it must have uh, ended up not getting deleted when I ordered it the first time. So I'll give my son the other one. And that was... Don't he, I don't think there were even a pound, but if necessary, I'll have a look for the price of those. Now then, I've got myself an enamel elephant, and it's a brooch. I'm really into my brooches at the moment, and that one's beautiful, it came today. And that was two ninety-eight. And I've struggled with uh, flowers and that to put in my resin. I've always ordered the, the sheets with the them in between two bits of cellophane and they just fall apart on me. So I ordered this big package. Now it's got lavender, marigold, forget me not, lily, and quite a few other things. I think there's lotus flower seeds in there. And I thought I might plant them and see if they grow. But that was when I find it flowers. 9.49. They will get used, especially in some of the deep moulds I do. Right. Now then, I filled the bag with quite a lot of the stuff for yesterday when I tried to make them make the video right. So this is the open bezels with the ear bits and the backs to hold them in and the little uh, little rings to put them all together and that was piece still steel beading hoop tear and triangle 12.59 so I'll get a lot of earrings out of that next I've got some enameled skulls there's eight in the packet so they should be good for making earrings. And they were one fifty eight. Next, I got some gothic bees, just two of them, very hard to, very hard to make out. They're already in a pair of earrings, so I don't have to do anything with them, but I choose to add things to them. Maybe a, a bead between the ear hook. And the actual B, but that is what they look like. Quite big, 
Well, they will be quite big on the ears, but they're not heavy. So they should be okay. And they were... Eighty nine pence. So not bad for a cheap pair of earrings. Right. Now I thought these were a lot flatter than they actually are. Because I was gonna use them in a project, but with them being so thick, they'll just have to be uh keychain and Maybe earrings, something like that. And those were 248. I think there's 10 in the pack. Right. And I've already had these because I already made myself a pair of earrings with them. And they're like flies. I don't know if you can make them out. You can make that one out better. And there's 10 in a pack. Now they were 148. Now then I've got another mould and it is earrings or pendants. There's apple shapes and leaf shapes and other fancy shapes in there. And that was two twenty seven. Now then, I bought myself an electric drill. I have a hand drill, but the way my hands are now with the arthritis, and since I dislocated that one, I'm struggling a little bit. So I thought, treat myself to an electric drill, and it came with three three little drill bits and a uh, allen key an allen key and that was 6.97 then i've got some colorful beads enough to make a bracelet if i choose to make a bracelet But I've got other ideas for them. And those were 348. I used to get a lot more beads for that sort of money, but that was when I lived in Hastings and there was a little a little bead shop a friend of mine uh, used to run in uh, near the cave fair uh, system and down George George Street another little mold and this has got stars hearts circles triangles and squares and I should have the price written on there somewhere I did write the price on some of them find the price of that one but it was uh, very similar price to the other ones 
I might have to put that one up at the end. Right. Now, regarding tools, I mean, I have got these tools already, but you misplace them or you're using them on another project in another room and you need spares. So, I got these and that ideal for making the jewellery because they're small, perfect for my hands. I don't need the clumsy ones that come in a proper toolkit. And they were £2.07. And they are very strong, very strong. One of them's the, the cutter, the wire cutter. One of them's got the uh, circular ends, if you're doing anything with the uh, a chain or something like that. And the other one, it's got the cutter at the bottom, but it's the uh, very, very thin nose pliers. So, £2.7 for those. Now then. And there's the uh, little drill bits that go with the electric drill. And lastly, of this lot, I got some zebras to make some earrings with. I don't know if you can quite see that. I think they're all uh, the wrong way around to see them on the back. I'll see if I can turn some over. Because like I say, I don't want to start opening too many packages. And have them all over the place. And like I say, the noise as well can be a bit annoying. So, hopefully you can see a zebra there, just. And there's 10 in a pack, and those were 148. And something that my dog is wearing, because, like I say, I tried to film all this yesterday, is the bark stop collar. Now, I've had one or two of them in the past, but they've all been six to eight pound, and they haven't been very good. They haven't lasted not being very strong so a waste of time this one was 26.98 and i've already checked it on her because she barked this morning she always barks at the postman and i'm always worried that she annoys the people that live above me because i live in the two-story flat i'm on the ground floor and then they're on the first floor so I bought this one and hopefully it will work. So 26 26.98. So I hope I get my money's worth out of it. And another thing I got today, not one more thing that's dropped to the floor and I got some of the winter pants I like to start getting them about now ready for the winter because they've got the the nice fur lining and keep my legs warm because I've got very cold legs in the winter terrible and I suffer from bad circulation so they are absolutely brilliant I normally buy the men's uh, leggings because these are not normally long enough for me, but I thought I'd give them a try again. And those were 
I've put them down. I might have missed them when I was uh, putting all the new stuff down that I've got today. Yes, I missed them today. Let's have a look. Let's see if I've put them on the new list. Fleece leggings, five seventy nine. I also got a kitchen mum, which is in my kitchen, and I filmed it yesterday. But I mean, a lot have been shown on there the Timu halls. You fill it up with water, put it in your microwave and it steam cleans your microwave so that when you take it out, all you need to do is wipe the loose stuff away. Now then. Oh, and I got this spatula for £1.18. It's to go with my craft and it's got a, a thin edge on it so it should be able to scrape the resin a little bit better than some of the other things do. And the last thing, which is in a big box, is this. And it is shoe storage. I mean, I've probably got enough shoes to nearly fill it, but I actually want it for my craft room. So it's how many taste? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tiers on it. I want my flat, my flat moulds put somewhere so they're not going to get bent and creased. So that I haven't actually put down, have I? I want to put it on this one because it didn't come yesterday. I also bought her a squeaky toy and gave her it and within about five minutes, it had lost all its legs, its head, and most of its stuffing. <laughs> it was, it was a, a donkey. Unfortunately, it's now in the bin. And that was only a pound or two. <laughs> right, so, I haven't actually put that down, so I will put it at the end of the video. Now I think I've got everything. I'm looking forward to doing a bit of uh, resin craft this afternoon, well tea time-ish, after I've taken Lily for her nice long walk around the park. And I don't think I'm going to need a coat because it doesn't look as if it's going to rain out there. I might take it and put it in the back of my scooter, but uh, anyway, that's all I've got for now. The next time I see you, hopefully it will be a resin craft. Have a great day, evening, or whatever time of day it is in the world for you. Bless you all. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. Hi again. Sorry about this. Uh, I tried to put photograph of the shoe rack on so that it showed you the price, but I cannot get it to take a photograph on the screen. So the only way I can do it is by telling you it was eighteen pounds and 48 pence okay lovelies bye bye for now and inside of this other